name is Hannah Song. I'm the president of Link Liberty in North Korea. So a group of us are here um, partnering with an international uh, campaign called Save My Friend. And the idea of this is to protest the Chinese government and ask them to, asking them to release 30 North Korean refugees that are currently uh, arrested and are uh, scheduled to be sent back to North Korea. And so we're here to ask the Chinese government not to repatriate these uh, 30 North Korean refugees. So we have an opportunity to be a part of this global movement that's been happening. It was started in Seoul uh, under the banner called Save My Friend. Uh, it was just a few concerned citizens in South Korea who decided that they wanted to, uh, they heard about this group of 30 North Korean refugees that were arrested in China and uh, they wanted to put this uh, global attention on China uh, to encourage them to not send them back because of China's policy of repatriating North Korean refugees. Uh, this is also an important uh, situation because it is the first known group of refugees uh, since the new Kim Jong-un regime has been in place. And so from what we have heard from North Korean refugees uh, and people still in the country, uh, they've told us that they've been warned by the government that there will be uh, extreme punishments for individuals who try to escape or who have uh, escaped. So. Um, so, 30 North Korean refugees are being held by the Chinese government right now, and um, the Chinese government is threatening to repatriate them where they will face execution or um, life in some of So, um, we're here just to kind of raise awareness um, and bring attention, especially here at the Chinese government. Well, they estimate that there's, there's um, 30, between 30 to 50,000 refugees hiding in China uh, today. And uh, this is a normal practice for, for the Chinese government to uh, send North Korean refugees back because they don't consider them to be refugees, but they consider them to be economic uh, migrants. And so uh, although China is a signatory,